are those? The dark forest seems. I guess it's just the dark forest. All right. Stole quite a few things. I don't see. All I saw was that loom. An interesting incense burner. What's this? Why, it's a little key. Tucked under a large crack in the wall, which seems to serve as a window, Graham sees an interesting wooden trunk. The old witch's house has been crudely fashioned from an old tree trunk and salvaged stone. Being cold and creepy, Graham finds he would just as soon hurry up and leave. The old witch's house has been crudely fashioned from... Okay, now I think that's everything? I, I don't know. Peering curiously at him, Graham can plainly see the eyes, but he can't quite reach them through the thick foliage. Peering curiously at him through the heavy foliage of the dark forest, Graham notices several pairs of bright blinking eyes. The small creatures, whoever they are, don't seem to show any interest in it. Strange plants and animals inhabit this dark and dreary place, while thin rays of sunlight barely break the surface of the forest's thick foliage. It is a tiny brass key. Oh, you know what? I bet you it goes to that darn door. Graham is charmed to find a little golden heart inside the door of the twisted old tree. 
Reaching into the little door of the tree, Graham extracts the little golden heart. I can go south. Oh, I can. Unseen eyes seem to watch Graham as he stumbles confusedly through the thick maze of the gloomy forest. The small creatures, whoever they are, don't seem to show any interest in it. The small creatures, whoever they are, don't seem to show any interest in it. pouch is tucked away in the drawer. Graham reaches the drawer and removes the leather pouch. in the honeycomb, I guess. The heck. Okay, apparently the deal with the honeycomb is you have to crush it somewhere on the ground. Okay. Like... Graham squeezes the honeycomb as hard as he can, which causes the honey to drip out of it onto the ground, creating a sticky little puddle at his feet. Now all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax, which Graham puts back in his pocket. Okay. So, apparently they like shiny things, so... This situation seems to require very careful thought. Graham needs to spend more time on this. What?
the small leather pouch is drawn tightly closed. Upon opening the leather pouch, Graham discovers three sparkling emeralds. Why should I do that? What you will you do for me? I'll show you the way out of the forest, if you let me go. How do I know I can trust you? I give you my word. An elf never breaks his word. Well, it's against my better judgment, but okay. Move over, Rocky. You're in uh, our way. That's pretty cool. Duh. Sorry. Duh. Duh. Sorry. Follow me in here. Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. Watch it. Ooh. Give me gifts. Cut your ass. I never take anything without giving in return. For your generosity in giving me those exquisite emeralds, I give you my finest pair of shoes. May they help you in your quest. How do you know I'm on a quest? Follow that passage over there. It's the way out of the dark forest. Thank you very much for all your help. I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for these fine shoes. not to want to venture in that dark forest, Cedric. I thought I'd never get out of there alive. Yeah, that's pretty bad. 